Thanks for tuning in to watch how I make zippers for box cushions. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps that I take to make uh, the zipper part of the box cushion. And this is a velvet, so that kind of complicates it even more. The size of this box cushion is four inches. So the main part of the boxing would be cut at five inches and the zipper, once it's finished, will be the same. But before it's put together, I like to start with two pieces of the boxing fabric, bigger than half, so I have enough to overlap. So these two pieces are about four inches each, which is more than enough. Um, and I'll cut it down after the zipper is put together. So here I'm starting the first step by sewing the zipper right sides together. And since this is a velvet fabric, I'm pulling the tension out of the velvet and pushing the white zipper so that there's slack in the zipper. Uh, I'm doing this on a regular sewing machine not the walking foot, just to show you that it's possible. And the technique of the stitching and pushing the fabric is what keeps the zipper from puckering the fabric underneath it. So as I'm going, you can see that the zipper in front of the foot has some ripple in it, but that gets smoothed out as you're sewing. So back stitch in the beginning and the end. And then you can see that the velvet is nice and smooth and so is the zipper. It turned out really nice. So now I'm gonna do the same to the other side. And you can see that I surged the inside edges of those two uh, pieces of fabric. And I did not surge the outsides because I'm gonna cut those parts down to size and serge them after the zipper is put together. So here I'm starting on the other side, back stitch a little bit, and then as you're sewing, same process to keep the fabric from puckering, you want to push a little bit of extra zipper in front of your fingers while also pulling the tension out of the velvet fabric at the bottom. So it's a two-step process. Pull tight on the bottom fabric and then push some slack into the zipper. And then if you pull with both hands in the opposite direction, just like I'm doing there, that'll keep everything in place. And then if this doesn't work, which sometimes it doesn't, you can actually pin the fabric and the zipper together, which I wasn't happy with how that was going, so I pulled out the thread and pinned the zipper into place to see if this would make the process easier, and it did make it a lot easier. And the direction of the pins is really important because with the pointy part of the pin aiming towards the zipper foot, you can get really close to the pin and then remove it just before you sew over it. That way all the layers stay together and then you can use both of your hands to pull tension front and back for taut sewing, which helps keep all of the layers together. And you'll see how smooth it ends up when it's all done. So right up to that pin, and then we move it back stitch, and then let's see how it looks. Looks pretty good, I'm happy with it. And then we'll move on to the next step, which is putting a little um, overlap lip over the zipper. You can do an overlap on one side or both, and usually I choose to do the overlap on both sides. It's just a preference. I really enjoy making zippers for box cushions because it's just one section of the whole cushion and it's not like a zipper in a pillow. 
which for some reason in my mind makes it easier. So now I'm going to separate the zipper so that I can do the overlap on one side at a time. It's a little scary to pull it apart, but it's not going to hurt it at all. We're gonna put it back together. And now I'm working on the back side with the zipper on the top so that I can see it. And then as I'm sewing, I can keep the amount of fabric that I'm overlapping very consistent. And also this keeps the fabric from puckering. You can see how smooth that looks. If I were, if I were to turn it over and, and sew the lip from the other side, especially with this velvet, it would pucker the fabric immensely. So this is uh, a very important method for having a really smooth finished zipper is by working on the overlap from the back side with the zipper up. And then do the same thing to the other side. We can see how it looks, line them up, make sure you're happy with the final overlap, and then you'll get the ends even, top and bottom, and then we can put the zipper slide onto the zipper. So you'll put the zipper on one side and then fish it through the other side keeping the fabrics even. And then I'm gonna slide it all the way through the whole zipper and then actually all the way off. That connects the zipper and then I'll do it again to permanently place the zipper. And sometimes you have to back it up if it's a little bit crooked and try again until the teeth are even on both sides. So I had to make a little adjustment there. And now the fabric is e even on both sides and the zipper teeth are even. And so I'm gonna leave the zipper somewhere in the middle. And now the zipper part of the boxing is together. The only thing left to do to it is to cut it down to size. And the reason I like to do that after the zipper is completed is because of all the take up that is hard to account for. And so cutting it down a size afterwards is a lot easier. So now I'm attaching the boxing to the cushion and I'm using a stapler instead of pins to keep all the layers together. So now with the main boxing all stapled into place, I'm going to fold back a couple inches, staple that down, and then turn the zipper around the corner and overlap it with the rest of the boxing. 
staple that into place. And now I'm going to pre-fit it before I stitch it on the machine. I'm going to pre-fit it on the cushion and see how it looks. And you can see that the boxing overlaps the zipper. After it's all stitched down into place, I can stitch that overlap down over the zipper part of the boxing and then it's all connected and then the zipper can't come out. I hope this was a helpful video about making zippers for box cushions. If you want to see any more of the rest of the cushion being made, let me know. I have some of it also videoed, uh, but I thought that this section might be helpful for some that are a little afraid of zippers. And uh, it's not too scary after all. Thanks for watching. Like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching.